Yes, guys, you're welcome to the show. This is Shorts and Shorts on RTTV. And uh, today I decided not to be in the director's chair. I just, you know, wanted to look casual. But uh, my clapper board is here as usual. Anyways, guys, uh, today on Shorts and Shorts, you know how we do it now. We bring you innovative, creative directors, young guys with, you know, enough energy that shoots awesome, mind-blowing short films. So uh, stick around because we've got more awesomeness coming your way on Shorts and Shorts on RSU TV. My name is Tulu Ajayi and you're watching Shorts and Shorts. Um, my name is Ali Akdogan. Um, Born and raised in Lagos. Uh, uh, I'm mom from Ondo State. Uh, my dad is from uh, um, Turkey, Gaziantep. I've uh, been doing filmmaking, uh, general video production, 3D animation, and anything that involves the screen. Growing up is the I wouldn't say more or less I was like a, maybe a geek or a nerd, you know. Oh, I don't know what they call those people. I've always been interested in, you know, video games, animation, you know, crazy stuff, people flying and all that stuff. Spider-Man and all that, you know. So as I grew older, you know, I started doing comic books by myself then. On the long run, the knowledge and all the skill I've acquired, because a comic book is more or less like a movie on paper. So I applied the knowledge, you know, do a lot of self-training and stuff, and boosted up my skill, then started doing it on TV. I ride a motorcycle. Well, it's just to get me here and there, but you know, it comes with a lot of fun. You know, you meet a lot of people that ride as well. So you guys hang out, you know. It's cool, and it gets you where you want to get you go to you know, a lot faster, especially in this Lagos. It's what got me here. Jump the queue and get faster service on your T-Salad line when you dial 200. Follow the instructions for solutions or answers to any problems you have. It's the fastest way to get to the front of the line. At T-Salad, now you're talking. Lights, camera, action. I love my movies. Intriguing, exciting, entertaining. All here on RTT. Uh, I've been into, I've been into um, filmmaking for probably approximately like five, six years. So I um, still have a lot to learn. I wouldn't really say I'm a director, I'm a this, I'm a that, because I'm pretty much from the beginning to the end of the pipeline of production. That is from your pre-production stage, that is doing the storyboard, the script, the concept, you know, the, the getting location and all that stuff, pretty much everywhere. And you know, sometimes budget don't allow you to just, you know, delegate. So I decided to go through all the stages, you know, even to post-production, editing, sound effects, music, scores, you know, learn how to apply these things. So I would just say I'm, you know, a generalist in terms of visual production. And now I'm pretty much delving into 3D animation, so, you know, trying to see how I can penetrate. I started 3D early this year. Actually, I wanted to do it because I was actually working on a video game project, a personal project. Uh, it's called um, Throne of Gods. It's actually based on African mythology. Because we do a lot of movies, we watch a lot of stuff, you know. We see a lot of Poseidon, Zeus, and all those things. Just, that's Greek mythology. So, most of the time, when you want to talk about African mythology, they only direct it to Egypt. That's the Egyptian history, and they have a lot of history. But I tried to move down to West Africa, um, Southern Africa, and all those, and I realized these guys have a lot of stuff. 
Like they have a lot of mythological creatures that no one practically knows or have heard of. And there is very little documentation about these people and these things. So I felt, okay, how can I infuse this into entertainment? I love video games. I want to make a game. But the video game market here is, you know, is, there is no market. There is no industry. So I felt, okay, mobile phones is now, you know, there's this thing about mobile phones. Everything is in your phone. Why don't you make a mobile game based on African mythological creatures whereby you see all these huge guys, all these shock and everybody, you know, everybody come you get to choose these guys and they, you know, go on a brutal meltdown or whatever. That's why I decided to go to 3D. But and I realized that okay, I can actually keep two birds with one stone. Do 3D for your stuff and you actually do 3D for you know clients and you know get start start up a business there. So that was why I decided to enter. Animation. So hopefully uh, the game will be released, but it's still under a lot of <coughs> development in development stages. I've been working on the game since the beginning of this year, which was when I started PD. So I've been doing a lot of iteration, going back and forth. You know, I redesigned the characters, I go back again, redesign. When I learn more, I redesign. But I think I'm done with the designing stage. Right now I'm animating them, so all their movements working. So and plus I felt, you know. Let's put a little bit of recognition to the African history, the culture, the myths behind it, because we don't really have enough content to show to the world. So, you know, let's put our stuff out there. Let's, yeah, let's not just hear Greek. Let's not just watch 300 and say, wow. Let's see some of these are guys too and say, wow. That was why. The main character for the game, I'm thinking Shongu and one other guy, but, you know. I don't know, but there will be a main guy, but there are a lot of creatures, like there is the half snake, half woman, you know, there's a lot of gore, so it's not kid stuff, I know most of the animation we see here is kid, so if you like God of War, you like 300, you like those kind of stuffs, you, will, you definitely will like this, so I'm promising that. In terms of short film, um, hopefully, I'm thinking of shooting another one next year, but I haven't, I have, don't have any concept or any idea in mind yet. But definitely, it's going to be few people. <laughs> yeah, um, about doing a feature length film. I did one like a few years back, uh, which was executive produced by DJ Jimmy Zat. Had a few guest appearances, but unfortunately, it was not released because we had a few technical problems. So hopefully, maybe, but you know, feature films are, they have a lot of budget that come with them and you know, so stakes are, maybe, maybe not. The short film titled uh, Possessed, uh, basically I was just trying to do like a study project, you know, it wasn't like I had and I felt okay, I did stuffs before that I should probably put out something new because I've been mostly occupied by other kind of jobs as a uh, music videos and all so I felt let me do something in terms of uh, filmmaking aspect, let me release it, you know, just call a couple of friends, try to do something, I just had this idea and just call my friends and say hey guys, you know, let's just shoot. It was a night shoot, you know, everybody was just tired. We were laughing, joking. It was, it was, people were even, a friend of mine was even surprised in terms of the outcome because he was thinking it was a comedy show or something we were doing because we were practically making jokes. So the, the, the notion behind them possessed, I would say I was just doing a study project, you know, just something to just test my mettle on, okay, play with music, play with, uh, shots, put stuff on people's face and make them look horrible. It's something we see all the time, but you know, um, horror stuff, you know, exorcism. There's really no story behind it, you know. I would want to start blowing trumpet and saying, expect this thing, expect that thing. It's just, just how many minutes. I can't really say much. So just enjoy it, just, you know, enjoy it, support, you know, even if they are a little shabby moments, but you know, it happens.
All right, guys, so you just met Ali Akdogan, uh, the director of Possessed. Yes, an epic short film, which you'll be seeing in a bit. Uh, yeah, he's super creative. He's a biker, although he said he's not, you know, big on the whole biking thing. As far as it just takes him where he wants to go, you know. But yeah, he's a creative guy, funny guy, weird guy. And he's coming up with a game, which I'm looking forward to, because uh, did I did forget to mention I'm a gamer. Yes, yeah, this thumbs the ball every day. So uh, I'm looking forward to the game, uh, Throne of Gods, something that has to do with African mythology. We'll see Shongo or Rumila and the rest of them. Uh, so yeah, you guys should look forward to that and look forward to the short film that's coming up next. This is Possessed. Stick around so you can see it. It's coming up right after this. Hey guys, this is Eloisa on R2TV and I'm talking to you, every lad and lass out there who love social media. From Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Skype, you name it. There's also Vine, so I like it when you follow me and I follow you back. And I also like it when you follow us on R2TV. So you don't always have to be in front of your television. When you can't, when you're in traffic, in your car, you're in somewhere where you can't really get to watch television, you can always hit us up on our social media platforms. I like it when you follow me so I can follow you and then we can like each other and interact. Yes. <laughs> you like my flows. Yeah, I like them too. That's why we're here for you. Keep you entertained. We are entertainment at its best on R2 TV. So you haven't heard? No. It's a salad giving amazing data value and smartphones at the lowest prices. With up to 1.5 gigabytes free data sign up bonus and 100% bonus on all data purchases from 200 MB and above for 12 months. Can I show you some phones? <laughs> Get the latest devices at amazing prices at any Etisalat Experience Center or authorized dealers and choose from the blazing fast data and amazing tariffs all on your smartphone network of choice. Etisalat, now you're talking.
Um, in terms of challenges while shooting the possessed, I would say I didn't have enough time with the cast because they were tired, they wanted to sleep, and all my eyes was open, I wanted to shoot. And these guys, I'm like, man, they're my friends, man. I can't keep punishing them, man, you know. So I think that was it then, you know. I didn't get, like, you know, hey, let's rehearse. It was the same day, some, some, one of them came from another state, so it was like, this is what you're doing, this is what you're doing on the spot. So I think time, you know, the planning, I know how these things are sometimes, you just have to, when you're dealing with guerrilla productions, you know, just jamma jamma. <laughs> Speaking of um, shooting outside Nigeria or overseas or wherever, um, I think it's the project and the budget that will determine. So I'm pretty much open to anywhere, you know, although sometimes I'm <laughs> skeptical about traveling, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much open to anything. Uh, I'm not really a social person. I started being social <laughs> this year, you know. <clears throat> I'm usually hiding until my friends push me out. So I don't know. I have a Facebook page. Um, I have an email. <laughs> I'm not on Twitter, sorry, not on Instagram, not on all that stuff. So mostly Facebook is where I can be reached. My Facebook ID is um, facebook.com slash this is Ali Akdogan. So mostly I have links to my works, music videos, uh, short films, animation, pictures of the game I'm developing and all that stuff I've done, documentaries, so many stuff. My email is decoyosolot at yahoo.com. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Ali Akdogan. Keep watching Shots in Shots on R2TV. All right, guys, I was possessed by Ali Akdogan. Awesome film, horror, short, you know, mind-blowing, blood-pumping. It's just, it's, it's dope, it's just dope. I think, I think uh, he was very crazy for the fact that he said it's a film that, you know, he actually didn't plan. Uh, it was more like a, you know, project. He was just trying out, it was more like an experiment. I think it was awesome for an experiment, for a short film, uh, experiment mode. That was tight, that was really tight. Um, and we have happen to know that one of the problems affecting um, directors in the Nigerian industry that shoot uh, short films is money, funds. You know, everyone is uh, careful about their budgets and all that. So, uh, but we can get your comments, we can, you know, hear from you. Let's hear what you think about budgets, let's hear what you think about funds, let's hear what you think about Possessed, let's hear what you think about Aliak Dogan. Let's know what you think about Shots and Shots in a Hole, the show that brings you short films, creative, awesome, fresh here on R2TV. Our Facebook page is at my R2TV with the hashtag shorts and shots. On Twitter it's at R2 underscore TV with the hashtag shorts and shots. Instagram is R2TV with the hashtag shorts and shots. And YouTube is just R2TV. Uh, you can also catch us on our webpage www.royalrootstv.com. Yes guys, so that's all we have for today on the show. Remember it is shorts and shots on R2TV. I am in love with the flow until I come your way next week to bring you awesome, another awesome director in the house with awesome new films. I'll be sticking around waiting for Throne of Gods by Ali Akdogan. See y'all later.